against New York Mets. First pitch coming your way next. Ladies and gentlemen, your New York Mets. Just about set to go. And on the hill, a soft tossing lefty, just like you, Chris, Jose Quintana. Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches, depending on how things are going and how things are working, but if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. Okay, all set to go. Here's the center fielder, Jaron Duran. And he grounds one to the right side. Can't glove it cleanly. And he's going to make it to first. And we'll see how they score it. Hard to tell exactly what went wrong right there. That was a fairly routine ground ball, but he just couldn't get it to stick. And the glove might have taken his eye off it a little early. But regardless, you're going to have to work around that error. Willier Abreu up next for the Red Sox. Right down to shoot. That's strike one. Left hand batter waits. That one ripped right center field. Bader going back. Bangs off the wall. Duran around third. He'll score. The Red Sox have the lead. One nothing. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Absolutely blasted that one into the gap, but just didn't have quite enough to clear the wall out there. Maybe a little more elevation under it and it carries over, but that's a swing you'll be happy with every time. Now batting Tristan Casas. First pitch misses. Man at second. That's a little bit low. Two and one now. A little out front there as he swings through it. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Red Sox already leading. Chopped left side. Sends it across the first. One out in the top of the first. Here's a check of the Red Sox lineup put together by manager Alex Cora. The challenge for him today, Singy, elevating the baseball against this sinker baller that's on the mound. Yeah, that's the challenge, but it also might affect the way they approach base running in this one, Boog. You get a runner on first, you anticipate trajectory down, and when the ball's in the dirt with a good secondary lead, you break for second. So whether it's a stolen base or not, you stay out of the double play, get that runner in a scoring position, and that can help you put more runs on the board. B-I-D, ball in dirt. Here's the 0-2. Battling here as he fouls it away. And now the lefty spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. And he deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Abreu leads off second with one gone in the inning. Got him swinging. Here's Tyler O'Neill.
in there at the knees. Late swing fouled off. Swing and a miss struck him out. One run, one hit, one error, and one left. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. It's the Red Sox one and the Mets nothing. Back here in Queens and on the mound in this one Tanner Hout. What do you have on him Siggy? Well this guy lives and dies with his slider and it's a good one. Most guys you know they're working off of their fastball but he's backwards a little bit works off the slider and then when the fastball comes it can add a little velocity in terms of perception when guys are used to seeing that off speed pitch when it's right really tough to hit even if you guess it's coming because it's breaking two planes horizontal and vertical. And that one is lifted in the air under it. One up one down. Here's a Mets lineup now. They're already down a run so I'm sure they'd like to punch back and even things up early. Yeah it's never a good feeling especially at your home ballpark to go down in the first inning so the best way is just to come out aggressive try to tie the ball game up but not just tie it up take the lead I tell you what momentum can really swing and you can put your pitcher back in a position where he feels his most confident Mark Vientos in the box now no balls in a strike how it is third season 27 years old a former first round pick back in 2017 and that's off the inside edge and it's a ball and a strike right through there for a strike. Now just a cement mixer slider right there. It's a great pitch to hit if you can recognize it early and jump on it. Swing and a ball popped up. He makes the catch and there's two down. Batting third. No left fielder. Brandon. Two outs. Base is empty. Brandon Nimmo digs in now. Pitch is in for a strike. It's 0 1. Two out spaces empty. Close, but called a ball. And the count even 1 and 1. Slider misses outside. Swing, and all the bat went flying there. And the righty deals. And another ball. And that's a base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Love how he let that ball travel. Trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Now J.D. Martinez at the plate. There's a strike. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Two really good back to back sliders. Now in an 0 2 count. He's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off. He can go anywhere he wants. Fights it off. He'll see another. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Two outs. He goes down looking. 
Mets strand one. They trail here, one nothing. Top of the second, still stepping in for Boston, Masataka Yoshida. Quintana back to work. Thinking about Yoshida, he's never going to be the biggest player when he's on the field, but that doesn't mean he can't hit. He gets on base and doesn't strike out very often. That combo makes you a valuable asset to your club. That one down the line. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Here's the speedy catcher, Connor Wong. Right through there for a strike. one now to first might be two Lindor that's one how about that double play for me that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield the first baseman has to get inside create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play and then from there completing it back to first really good job all the way around next to hit Sedane Rafaela That's in there, and it's 0 and 1. Two down, nobody on. Ground ball, left side. Fires over to first. Third out. After an inning and a half, it's 1 0. Bottom of the inning. Here's Pete Alonso. The first baseman. The right hander back to work. That's in there. Well, we call that keyholing. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. And now one and two. Chases that one out of the zone and one away. Well, that's the effect of the splitter that you're looking for on the mound. Really nice pitch right there and had him out in front over the top. I'm sure the batter was thinking he was getting something else, perhaps a fastball a little more straight and below to it. Starling Marte up to him. Line and a base hit into right. So a man aboard now with one away. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be aggressive. Nice job going the opposite way with it. Letting the ball travel and not allowing the barrel to hook around the ball. It's so frustrating when you see a good pitch and your hands roll over. It was on the outside part of the plate and he approached it perfectly. Francisco Alvarez up now for the Mets. That one finds the zone. Strike one. And a pitch. And that one fouled off. Kicks and fires. Caught him looking for the K. Jeff McNeil stands in. The 
And the first pitch misses for ball one. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. He was all over that one. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. So two on with two away. And now Bader up to the plate. That one is absolutely belted. And it one hops the wall. One runs in. McNeil headed home. Relay throw. He'll score, and the Mets take the lead. It's two to one. Got to be feeling great about that double. Big spot, and he drives in, too. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. Back to the top of the Mets order, and now it's Frankie Lindor. That's in there, and that's strike one. That one fouled off. Man on second, two down. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. And here it comes. Smash to the left side. Whips it across. They limit the damage here. But they'll pick up a couple runs here, both coming on this two-run double. And it's now a 2-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at City Field, top half of the third inning. Now it's the second baseman, David Hamilton. The wind of the pitch. That's in there. That's strike one. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. That one misses, and the count is one and one. And downstairs. Just missed. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. And that's in there at the knees. Right through there. Got it. One out. Well, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. So the Red Sox lineup turns over. Now batting Jaron Duran. First offering, and it just misses. One out, base is empty. Next offering is foul back. Pretty good pitch to take a pass at in a 1-0 count. Just not able to square it up. Swing and this one's bounced on the ground. On to first. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. Now it's the right fielder, Willier Abreu. Doubled his first time up. That one's in there. That's strike one. The Red Sox down by a run. We're here in the top half of inning number three. That one to first. Takes it himself. And it's a one, two, three inning. Nothing doing for Boston. And they trail it here, two to one.
And we're back. Here's a big power threat. Mark Vientos. The wind and the pitch. Off the mark there. And that's ball one. That one way inside. The wind to kick the 2 0. There's a strike. Outside. Counts full three and two. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Line drive, and it goes just foul. Stays alive. Three, two. Fouls it back with two strikes. And the right-hander deals. Gets a piece and stays alive. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. This looks like extra bases. Now he turns and heads for second. The throw in. Throw is offline, and he's got a double. But when you see that many pitches in it at bat, your chances of succeeding go up. And right there, we see the result. Here's Brandon Nimmo. One for one with a single so far. In the air, out towards right center. Drops in for a hit, couldn't run it down. Duran quickly gets it back in. Lead runner puts on the brakes, and it's second and third. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night, and just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. And now J.D. Martinez, golden opportunity right here. Just missed. The 1 0. Fouled off down the right side. The pitch. Out to short. Whips it to Casas. Runner scores, though. That's a little insurance, and the lead is two. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonso. Struck out swinging his first time. Right through there for a strike. Well, Boog, it didn't take very long for Alonso to set the home run record here at City Field. He passed Lucas Duda for the top spot in June of 2023. And a pitch. That one ripped, but foul. Nimmo, the runner at second with one away. Popped up. Rafaela, has this one sized up? Two away down. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. Here's Starling Marte. Singled and scored his first time. There's the strike. Go Chris through the early stages. He hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Next offering in there for a strike. 
And that's strike two. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. The 0 2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. One run, a pair of hits, no errors, and one left on. On to inning number four. It's the Mets three and the Red Sox one. Back here in Queens, stepping in the long ball threat, Tristan Casas. As the lefty gets to work. Fastball for a strike. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Going two now. Ball one there. Kicks and deals. Not even close there. The count now two and two. That one the other way. And it stays fair. man aboard and here is Devers his first at bat was a strikeout runner on the goal cut on and miss throw to second tag and they got him well this is a real momentum killer after the leadoff single tried to steal second base on the first pitch defense was all over it nicely done from behind the plate with the catch and throw and a quick tag before he reaches the base Left hand hitter waits. That fastball, even though it's up, that's the velocity you want to go after. Low 90s, a lot better than trying to hit the high 90s. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the AB going. The wind of the pitch. That misses the zone, gonna count one and two. Pretty standard high O2 fastball right there. If you're smart, you'll look for something down in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. Base is empty, one away. Top half of inning number four. Here comes a pitch. The other way, and foul ball. The pitch. That missed by a lot. Two and two. These first two hitters really making him work out there. Already 14 pitches this inning. Foul ball, another 2-2 two -two upcoming. Why to kick the pitch? Way high there. And now three and two. About to see the 11th pitch of the at bat here. Inside ball four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Boog, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a false scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. O'Neill batting for the second time, and that's strike one. It's just been an impressive outing so far. Continues to pound the zone pitch after pitch, and he's been able to stay down. That's what's been key. On the ground, two ball. The flip to second, and their second double play of the day will end the fourth. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We're midway in the fourth. It's the Mets three and the Red Sox one.
bottom four. And here's the catcher, Francisco Alvarez. How back to work. Love it here at City Field. You know, it replaced old Shea Stadium back in 2009. And Chipper Jones was really sad to see it go. It's actually the third home of the Mets since they started out at the Polo Grounds for two seasons before Shea was finished. That just misses. And a count two and one. The pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. Righty to the plate. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Got a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Fought off foul. Alvarez on at first. Nobody out. Next one misses. Ball one. At the belt and fires. Just off the outside edge. And a count two and one. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swung on, belted. It's a bomb. A massive home run. And they add to their lead. It's 5-1. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. So up next for New York, Harrison Bader. He drove in two with a double his first time up. Fastball for a strike, going one. It can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. And he deals. A rope into right, and that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And he's got his second double of the game. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages, working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game. But right there it did, and he did it perfectly. So the lineup flips over. Here's Francisco Lindor. Right through there for a strike. Well, here's a game Lindor will never forget. One night in July of 2023, he went five for five with a home run, two triples, and he scored three runs. That stat line is so rare, only one other player has done it. Guess who? Willie Mays in 1958. And that's in for a strike. The real threats are coming up, already giving up a home run in this inning. He's going to really have to bear down. And a pitch. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Stood absolutely no chance on that slider right there. And I don't mean to laugh, but that's a tough one. I mean, pretty much a perfect strikeout pitch. I mean, it looks like a fastball middle in, kind of has cutter action, and it just bunches you up to where you can't get your hands through and the barrel to it. And not much you can do unless you recognize the spin early and you spit on it. Vientos in the box again, takes the strike. In there at the knees. And a count is 0 and 2.
just misses with that one. This ball's chopped on the ground. Out on the off-balance throw. And next for the Mets, Brandon Nimmo. Singy, he's got a history of coming through into big spots. I know I like to talk about I'm not sure whether clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in those spots. Popped up right side. Casas under it. He's there. He's got it. And that ends the inning. Mets had two runs on this blast. It's now 5-1. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready now for the fifth inning. Now it's the DH, Masataka Yoshida. The pitch. Swing and a miss. 0-1. Top of the zone for a called strike. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. That one misses at the count one and two. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Didn't get cheated on that swing and squared it up perfectly. Came off the bat at 111, and when that's the case, the odds are very much in your favor as a hitter. And now the catcher comes up to him. Connor Wong. And the pitch a little bit low. Ball one. The Mets leading by four, and we're at the top of the fifth. And that one upstairs. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That's down. One hops off the wall. Around third. The relay to the plate. He's safe. Back-to-back -back base hits. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Now at the plate, Sidane Rafaela. First time up, he grounded to third. Check swing. Went around. Strike one. Man at second. That pitch gets the inside corner, and it's 0-2. He's clearly out there throwing pitchers pitches in this situation. First base is open. He walks him. No big deal. And the 0-2. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. We'll take a look at the three-pitch sequence here. Pretty simple in terms of putting them away at the plate. Once you're ahead 0-2 as a pitcher, you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there, clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. David Hamilton up next for the Red Sox. Struck out looking his first time. And a good eye there.
the pitch. Two balls, no strikes the count. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. One out and a runner at second. That one finds the zone, and it's two and one. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2 0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. And a 2 1 on the way. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. And here it comes. And that's outside. And now the lefty foul will see another payoff pitch. Good battle here about to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. That's ripped base hit coming home. He'll score, and now just a two-run deficit. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you've got to make them pay. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. And now the center fielder, Jaron Duran. Snap throw to first, and he's back in easily. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Hamilton, the runner at first with one gone to the inning. Pitch out, but no action. And the pitch. Hammered. And now maybe extra bases. Hamilton around second, headed for third, headed for the plate. Relay throw to third. Not in time. He's safe as a run scores. Willier Abreu up next for the Red Sox. One for two with an RBI double back in the first. And fouled off. Next offering is in for a strike. Action in the pen down there. Number 72 getting ready to go. Garrett getting cranked up as well. That one back up the middle and it gets through. In to score from third. All tied again, 5-5. Five, five. Huge game tying at bat right there. Came through in a big spot to drive in the run. Didn't try to do too much with it. Just a really controlled, simple swing. We don't see a whole lot of that these days with hitters trying to launch and hit home runs. But sometimes you got to shorten up just like that. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. At the play, Tristan Casas. Swing and a miss. Well, a really rough inning out there on the mound. And uh, this is one of those where you learn a lot about a guy's toughness and his ability to turn the page and keep pressing forward. Man at first, one away. Oh. 
Owen two now. And a swing and a miss. That's out number two. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. Devers now. Devers, the baby faced assassin. And a foul ball. Swings and chases a low one there. Two outs. Struck him out looking. They get four runs on five hits, no errors, and leave one. Home half of the fifth coming up. We're all tied up 5-5. Five -five. Back here at City Field, John Shelby with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five, J.D. Martinez. The right-hander back to work. And the slider just misses. Swings through the fastball up in the zone. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. Gets him to chase after that one. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. Hit hard. That gets through. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Pete Alonzo up now for the Mets. And that's downstairs and outside. All tied up. Last half of inning number five. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. Righty delivers. Out towards right center field. That one's deep. It one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. J.D. Martinez headed home. He will score, and they take the lead. Six to five. Picks himself up an RBI. Put a really nice balanced swing on it. And when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box. And he'll feel real good about that one. And so the Red Sox go to the bullpen. Rich Hill. Just trying to keep this one close here. And this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Runner in scoring position, no outs. And now the right fielder, Starling Marte. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That's down. One hops off the wall. The run comes in from second, and they lead by two. And he's got a double. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. Off the bat, it was headed for the gap all the way. And as a hitter, you love seeing those as you take your first couple of steps out of the box. You know you've got some real estate to run on. It's such a good feeling. Nice liner into the gap right there. Digging in, Francisco Alvarez. He's 0 for 1. And there's a foul ball. The pitch. Swing and a line drive curling foul down the right side. Breaking ball inside. And it's one and two.
hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Good late cut for the strikeout there. That thing really got in on him. And, you know, the cutter isn't really a huge swing and miss pitch most of the time because it's not really meant to move a whole lot. You're just trying to miss the big part of the barrel and maybe get some weak contact. But that one right there did a whole lot more than that. That was a really good pitch. And now here's Jeff McNeil. He's already homered in this game. Hit on the ground to the right side. Steps on first for the out. Next to hit, Harrison Bader. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Foul ball there. Marte on third with two out. Next offering is downstairs. And he hits a ground ball right side. Now a jump throw. Inning over, and it could have been worse. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. We're through five. It's the Mets seven and the Red Sox five. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, number 72. And this is an important part of this game. Tight score and still a lot of outs to get. So they're looking for a big outing out of him right here to get some critical outs. And now Tyler O'Neill, Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. The pitch. And that's off the inside edge. And that is ball one. Outside corner, there's a strike. Action in the Mets bullpen. Danny Young up and loosening in the pen. Garrett also getting ready. Swing it a foul straight back. The one two. And another ball. Talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally, and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. Up and in, and it's three and two. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. And stepping in for Boston, Masataka Yoshida. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. That one finds the zone, and it's one and one. With the tying run at the plate, and we're the top half of the sixth. Throw to first, and he's back in standing. Right-handed reliever to third might be two. There's one. Plenty of time at first. That's a double play. As a former player, watching 5-4-3 double plays brings back some adrenaline. It's such an exciting play, and it's always a great reminder of baseball being such a team sport. 
Here's the catcher, Connor Wong. That one misses in the dirt. Yeah, the right hander deals. Wouldn't chase that time. That misses the zone. Three and O. Oh. Sidane Rafaela on deck for Boston. There's the strike. Clearly taking all the way there in that 3-0 count. It was a cookie right down the middle. And there's a strike. Good heater at 98. Swings and misses. Struck him out. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Mets 7 and the Red Sox 5. And we're back. Well, we go bottom six. Now here is Francisco Lindor. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Lindor was born in Puerto Rico, but actually played his high school ball in Florida. The wind of the pitch. A little bit high, maybe. And now 2-0. Just missed. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. And he walked him. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. And now it's Mark Vientos. One for three. Right through there for a strike. Nobody out. Runner at first. And that one a little below the knees. And now it's even one and one. Lindor on the move. Up the middle. Throws to first. No chance at the double play with the runner in motion. Now the left fielder, Brandon Nimmo. All the way these two teams have battled in this game, you know you need more. Got to continue to add runs if you're going to get out of here with a win. And that one hit to first. And he takes it himself for the out. Now, that, now it's J.D. Martinez. Fouled off. He was late. Late on that fastball. Another 0-2 count right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. Good job to fight that one off. Two outs. And ball one. Out to short, Rafaela. Over to first, and that will end the inning. Mets leave one. They lead it seven to five. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Danny Young. These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. 
there's not much margin for error but at the same time there's a reason they're put in these situations. The pitch. Rafaela leading things off and takes a strike. No need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. That one fouled off. The 0 2. Inside just missed. It's a good take. Ground ball base now. Man aboard on the leadoff single. David Hamilton up next for the Red Sox. One for two. And there's the strike. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. The next pitch misses. One ball, one strike. Way to lay off that pitch down. And a count one and two. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. The tying run at the plate. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Now, oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it, from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Back to the top of the lineup. And next for the Red Sox, Jaron Duran. Young checks over to first, and he's back. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. The Red Sox down by a pair here at the top half of inning number seven. Swings through that one for strike two. Gonna really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. Liner. He's got it. <laughs> Will your Abreu up next for the Red Sox? Young. 29 years old, he joined the team as a free agent. To third, dives, but it kicks off his glove. That leaves him without a throw, and they don't get the out. First and second, two down. Still stepping in for Boston, Tristan Casas. Struck out on just three pitches last time. And things could change quickly here with one swing. There's a the strike of the knees. It's 0-1. right through there for a strike and at bat like this is almost over as it begins in this situation you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be you just got to hope that you can make contact 
So the tying run at second. Just off the outside part of the plate. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. And yeah, that skips in the dirt. Rafaela, the lead runner out at second. Abreu on at first with two down. Two on, two outs. Ground ball, Alonzo. The flip to the pitcher covering. Out number three. Boston strands a pair, and they're down seven to five. Back here in Queens, set for the last half of the seventh, and now the first baseman, Pete Alonzo. Hill back to work. That one hammered center field. That's going back. Back some more. And gone. And they add to the lead. It's 8-5. Already playing with the lead, and now they're celebrating a home run. They're having a great time out there. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. And stepping in for New York, Starling Marte. In there at the knees. Strike one. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. On the ground to Devers. To first, but it pulls him off the bag. The catcher number four, Francisco. Here's the catcher for the Mets, Francisco Alvarez. A strikeout and a walk. And that one fouled off. Runner at first with no outs here. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. And there's one away. And the first offering is not close. Left hand batter waits. And that one is lifted in the air. Grabs it on the run. Two down. The center fielder, number 44, Harrison Bader. Man at first. So up next for New York, Harrison Bader. And that one fouled off. Two outs. And it's fouled away. The 0-2. Check swing, and that's a ball. That pitch just misses the inside corner, and that's ball two. In the dirt. 
And an excellent job keeping it right there. Now a screamer into the outfield. And that is that. But the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's now 8-5. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Adam Adovino. Well, I got to think he probably has a little extra in the tank facing his former team, and there's not a player in the league that doesn't get a little extra motivation when he plays against his old squad. Here's Rafael Devers. The Red Sox in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the laid off man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. And a pitch. And a strike to Devers. Stirring in the bullpen for the Mets. Edwin Diaz, the anchor of the staff, is getting ready to close this one out. Maton getting loose as well. Outside low, one and one. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats, try to chip away at that lead, because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. Swing and a miss struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Here's the left fielder, Tyler O'Neill. High fly ball near the pole. That one is foul. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. And the count is 0-2. Well, that's that slurp right there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. 0-2 now. And that's outside. Rarely will you see a pitcher just waste a pitch like that. The batter wasn't even tempted to swing. Every pitch needs to have a purpose so that it can set up a following pitch to help you get that out. One down, base is empty. That one missed. Right side, hard hit. McNeil gets it to first. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. Masataka Yoshida. Masataka Yoshida now at the plate. That pitch in for a strike. And it's 0-1. There it was. 0-0. Oh, oh, here it is. Hit it. He gets a take. Gets ahead in the count. Two down, nobody on. And we're in the top of the eighth. Lifted in the air right center field. Bader should have it. Makes the catch in and over. And welcome back to the ballpark. Out of the bottom of the eighth, Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. The lefty fires. Just missed. That's inside. That misses the zone, and it's 3-0. And there's the automatic.
and a pitch. This to center field. Sizes this one up. Puts it away for the out. One away. And next for the Mets, Mark Vientos. And that's outside. Ball one. That clips the corner. Next offering is in for a strike. The wind of the pitch. Way inside, gets out of the way. This one high in the air to left center. O'Neill drifts towards it. Two down. The left fielder, number nine. Brandon Two outs, base is empty. And Nimmo. stepping in for New York, Brandon Nimmo. Now this is in the air down the line. Abreu on his way over. And that'll do it. Back here at City Field, all set for the start of the inning. And here's the catcher, Connor Wong. Here comes a pitch. Diaz, multi time all star. He features a slider, a four seamer, and he works in a two seamer. On the ground to third. Zips it to first. One up, one down. Couple of pitches and a quick out. He's two outs away. And stepping in for Boston, Sidane Rafaela. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Wow, good luck catching up to that one. That misses the zone, and one and one. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Hamilton stands in now and watches strike one. Rafaela, the base runner at first with one out. Good eye in that spot. Tried to backdoor him with that slider right there, but just missed off the plate. Good pitch, though. Headed towards the corner. Nabs it. Outstanding catch right there, and I love the commitment that he showed. He knew that the wall was close, but was determined to make that catch, and a nice calculation of just how much room he had to try to minimize that contact. Duran stands in here, takes ball one low. 
The Red Sox trailing by three here at the top of the ninth. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off speed pitch on this next one. And another ball. Next offering upstairs. Pressure mountain right here with the tying run in the on deck circle. He's got to find the strike zone. Two outs. Popped up to the left into foul ground. And that'll do it. Well, I'd say we got treated to a good one. Got to love a game when you get 13 runs on the board. A lot of offense, but it doesn't end in a blowout. Tons of really good at bats to look back on in this one. And this one ends with the score 8 to 5 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us.